flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And you know, man, today I go in at um, 12:30 to uh, to do my um, schedule that they keep. I mean, to do my surgery that they keep rescheduling. And I'm doing double jeopardy because they about to do the same fucking shit, so it's retarded. I've been in and out the hospital, and they had to prolong it and prolong it because the, the procedure I'm finna go through is gonna. Um, I guess they're gonna eject the needle inside the little area where this uh, affected fluid is at, and it's gonna have to be there for hours. It could take up to three days though in order for everything to be drained out and to heal properly. Um, so, just the surgery alone is gonna take almost a week for me to deal with. So I gotta get these videos out, man. I can't stay stagnated, you know what I'm saying? I'm And I'm back at the crib right now, so I can't just be sitting here and letting time go by like this because time is very precious. And if I'm giving all my time and energy to programs that I don't even fully agree with, then we're not. I'm not aligned, you know what I'm saying? I gotta have some type of alignment before I go in somewhere, so that's why I'm doing this right now. Now, this video right here, um, this video right here is about, I don't know, man, I'm just random. I'm random. Uh, I'm thinking right. Uh, let's, let's talk about days, okay? But y'all know I'm a little bit higher in consciousness, dimension-wise, and and everything. So when I look at days, I like I like to break it down to a certain uh, the the certain magical frequency wave that it, it presents itself on Earth. Now, when you talk about days, you're talking about the alignments of the, the planets and the, the time that it, it goes around in order to come up with time in order for us to calculate a day. I'm not talking about that kind of day. What I'm talking about is people need to understand the language that we use in. See, everything, I'm going to let you know up front, if, you, if you're a new watcher, everything that comes from me is not normal. I could, I could have a title that say something like, uh... How to clean your room. Nine times out of ten, if you if you a new watcher, somebody tell that person that new watcher that when they click on it, the video might not have nothing to do about how to clean your room, but it actually does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how we do. Some of my phone is went off. So when I talk about a day, I'm looking at it as far as you know, as far as this language we living in, and as far as this religion, a lot of programs people uh, give it, get it in, and stuff like that. You could kind of look at certain things where you want to tie a lot of things to the second coming. Now, when I say the second coming, what do you, what, whatever program you in, that's gonna that's gonna philosophize the actual um, outlook you have on that actual word. Now, when I say when I say the actual word, second coming, a lot of people in religious programs and stuff like that is going to think of stuff like, okay, he's talking about a uh, uh, Messiah, a second coming, Jesus Christ, or he may be talking about the Antichrist or just that and third or whatever like that. And then when you have people into science, when you say the second coming, that's the that's people who want to call this the God particle and uh, molecules and a particle is a wave until you observe it and this, that, and the third. And when you want to go into education, they want to say the second coming is someone who's giving false doctrines or false teachers. You know what I'm saying? It goes down. Uh, when you go, Because it's five spheres realities. You know what I'm saying? Once a person got their foot in a major way in all five of them, they, they, can, they, can, they can have the access. It's almost like having access to, say you was Thanos in, um, in the Marvel uh, Universe. And you you got the affinity uh, you got the uh, the glove, and you go get all the affinity stones to match all the gloves. That's kind of like how a person will be on this earth with, who has their foot in the door of all five fears of realities. Now five fears of realities. You have education, science, right? Religion, right? Entertainment, right? Business. Now you can't name. A, you can't name a, mo, a more powerful person in the world than a person who just got their foot in the door into just one or two of these. Now, all these can help each other get each other in the door. Hold on, my daughter finna go to school. One second. Oh, well, I ain't walking out the door yet. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> now <clears throat> you can say Donald Trump, he's powerful, right? He's, he's getting ready to be the president, right? Now, if you look at the fears of reality he's in, he's... He's only had his foot in the door in the business realm of reality, right? But him having... Hold on, let me, let me go to my... She getting ready to go? Yeah. Alright, you want me to get down? Alright, get down. 
All right, now the business, the business realm of reality, um, allowed him to obtain money because there's a lot of money in the business realm of reality. So that got him to take the bit. Now, once he Donald Trump got his foot in the door into the business realm of reality, that got him to apply himself to, to see the key. I got the keys, the keys, like DJ Khaled, <laughs> and he found the key to the the politic world realm of reality. No, but first he went in the entertainment realm of world of reality. Remember Donald Trump had shows, this, that, and the third. So that puts him. He used his he used his foot in the door, being in the in a uh, bit in the business realm, uh, realm of reality, and got his foot in the door and took that money and you and bought a key to get his foot in the door into the entertainment realm of reality. So now Donald Trump, he's in two fair realities. This is making him powerful. Whether it's the hate energy or or positive energy, it doesn't matter. He still you he still have the energy. Now for an, um now. He took both of those realm of realities, and now he's trying to uh, get the key, the key, the key, the key, to get into the politic realm of reality. Now, once Donald Trump in three realms of reality, only two left is religion and education. Now, we're not going to hold Donald Trump into any form of trying to be a teacher. We know that. We're not going to hold him to any form of trying to... Um, um, trying to be religious in any sort even though we just seen that video of him trying to get the black votes by being in a, a, a urban church we're, we're not going to give him any slack about him because we know he's not no preacher or anything so he's not going to hold him to any type of religious type of views but you really but my whole point of this is you don't need all five realms of reality to be one of the most powerful people um on the earth at the moment so once a person get five which that's the pilot, man. I'm here, Archangel Uriel, but that's here or there. Right now, that's just my example of trying to show you that uh, it's five fears of reality, which is entertainment, education, science, politics, business, and if a being on this earth have their foot in, in a major way into any of these doors, they're seen as one of the most prominent people. Look at Michael Jordan. He's just into, um, what is it, uh, the, uh, entertainment. Because that's sports, sports and stuff like that, things that people are entertained by. So that's in the entertainment realm of reality. Jordan just prominent in that. And he's one of the richest people in the world. He he took he took he took the entertainment. He he had his foot, unlike Donald Trump, Michael Jordan had his foot in the door in the realm in the realm of reality of the entertainment fair of reality. And he took that, the money he got from that, and applied it to, to get his foot in the door into the business realm of reality. Which is, he took some of that money and then got endorsements. Got, got shoes and stuff like that. So that's business. So Michael Jordan, and so like, regardless of what fair reality you get your foot in the door first, all of them can help each other get in one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm teaching. So I'm hoping to get my foot in the realm, I'm hoping to get the key to the realm of reality of education first. Then I'm going to use that and put it and in, get into entertainment, which is my music, my uh, my comic books. I'm gonna come out with. Like, I'm gonna come out with a pilot man comic book. I'm not th this pilot man. I ever gonna be from the hood. He's gonna be from. He's gonna be from. Uh, a, a, I'm gonna make my own Marvel universe, make my own DC universe, or get him signed to one of them. He's gonna be an actual character that has nothing involvement. I, the little pilot man, the rapper, is gonna be separate from the Star Wars. The little pilot man, you know what I'm saying? The Matrix. The little pilot. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a white man, Japanese. Whatever I use, whatever energy I think is best used for it to go to the maximum exaltation of the energy. See, we can't we can't talk about race and and when we talk about colors when you're talking to me. When you're talking to me, we talk about maximum exaltations of energies, and if it take me. To have the movie version, comic book version, pilot man, a Japanese man, a white man, in order for it to reach the highest pedicle in reality, then that's what I would do. It has nothing to do with race. You're gonna have a lot of people having conversations like Dolo, why don't you just play yourself or whatever? I'm in, in the entertainment realm, I'm already Dolo the Pilot Man the musician. I don't have to be Dolo the Pilot Man in the movie. And it don't have to have the same story. I don't have to be Dolo the Pilot Man in the comic book. He could be a separate universe, a, 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 a being who came from space, who, who lost his wings, came here, found some type of uh, mechanical, found some type of other superhumans who, who helped him along his way to the point that he figured out how to fly again uh, naturally. I mean, he figured out how to fly again by using plane part pieces and using his own intellect, but got smart enough and met a, a few people on a path and went on a few adventures to the point that he found how 
how to fly naturally again and found how to get his wings again and, and a universe full of villains and uh, again energies and bosses and shit. Like, nigga, <laughs> you can't stop my mind, motherfucker. You can't put me in no motherfucking box and you, with no motherfucking race. <laughs> We talking about maximum exaltations of energies, and when we using colors, that's how we gotta look at it. Now back to the initial state of the video. See, I'm random. See, I didn't get onto some other shit, but the thing with me, I always can remember what I initially uh, freestyled in the first place. So the the first thing I brought up was the days, right? So like I said, the second coming. The reason why we got into all what I just got into, because those all are different versions of second comings, second comings, second comings. So. Now when you want to look at it, like say uh, it's Thanksgiving, uh, somebody cooked at, at a house or something like that. Everybody ate for Thanksgiving. Then uh, people say sometimes the best days is the day after for seconds. People want to cut for seconds and stuff like that. But people don't understand how um, powerful the second energy is. is this, I want people to really understand because when we talk about days and when we want to talk about a day to me, this is how I'm looking at because it. actually, it's actually two days in one day. But I'm, I, we're going to go... I'm we're gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna break that back down. I'm gonna break it back down. But the orb gotta get there. Then I, I gotta fill that orb with a lot of information before it get there to come back around to talk about how one day is two days. Okay. Now look. Now as far as uh, um now the second now a second is a powerful thing. So people when you tie it in programs and, and think of second coming and stuff like that already you are already looking at it as an opposing energy to something that you're in and if the program that you're in is already created by somebody else and opposed to something else then you fall guilty due to association so you you may think you're doing a lot of right in your life doing wrong and you will never know you're doing right so that's those are the people who have to come back over and over again over and over again in, in lesser forms and lesser forms in order to understand that the, uh, to have some type of appreciation for the form you're in now when we want to get to uh, the the second when we get to the second day now we know second come after one right so we know that and even in the Bible, we want to get into the religious sphere of reality. We know Genesis is two stories. You know what I'm saying? So you know you can't relate one to the other because they're two different stories. So it's two different creation stories. Or even when you want to talk about evolution, there's two different evolution stories. Everything is right. That's what I need you to know. It don't matter what program you in, that program or whoever created it still pointing to something that's actually right. Is is their perception of what they're pointing to may be wrong. But we're all pointing to the same thing. It's just not what you're seeing, it's how you see it. It's not what you're doing, it's how you do it. People have to understand that. So when they say nothing new is under the sun, no it ain't. But how it's done under the sun is. That's what sparks people attention. Because they like, damn, this person doing the same thing I'm doing. But they're doing it in an entirely different way. So that gives a person the energy of attention. Now, when we talk about second, now, seconds. Now, we're living on seconds, right or wrong, because when you even want to talk about minutes, you will never know the first minute. You will never know the first minute. You will never know the first dot, the first initial stance before the line, the period, the dot. So, all you can go by is seconds. So, what do we call time? Seconds. What comes before a minute? A second. It's 60 seconds in a minute. So if, if you're telling me a second is before a minute and we're living on seconds, metaphysically, esoterically, we are the second coming. So if you, if you want to, like, this is truth. We're not talking about programs where we can battle who right or wrong based upon facts that's brought upon, that's brought upon about analyzation about what's already here. This is this doesn't has nothing to do with facts. This has something to do with truth. So, if you're a person who high in consciousness and you understand truth, you know how to apply truth with everything. So you will be able to understand that all the people in the Bible, Jesus, Moses, whoever, these they are us. We are that story. It's just when we perceptionalize it and you start to feel like you, you, and that person, that person, and we're not one anymore, then that's when we start to separate and start to fall short again as a mankind. But when we start to understand that we is as one, and in this Bible, these are stories of us explaining it separate, 
but as a one collective what we all understand then we could all build, beat each other's crutches and rise up collectively in consciousness as mankind we can either fall or rise what do y'all want to do but you, it, it doesn't take it just takes understanding it's not what you're understanding it's how you're understanding it that's why I'm talking about the days like this. And I didn't even get into the days yet. Like I said, I, I got to fill this aura with information before it come back to me talking about that day. So now, like I said, we living on seconds. So, so when a motherfucker talking about they want to do something one day, esoterically, that's not a day. But no, no, physically, that's not a day. But yin wise, esoterically wise, that's a day. So, that's letting you know when a person say, I want to do something one day. That's a person, all humans know truth knowledge. We just, through the programs and the language we use, we lost it and forgot how it's supposed to be seen. So, we just know what is being seen. So, when a person just, uh, say an average person who ain't high in consciousness, just be like, all right, all right, uh, man, I want to be the shit one day. I now, I don't want to even use them words. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, I want to be very successful one day. Right? That day ain't had no Pacific day. They just see a day, right? And really what you're doing is you're seeing an energy. And you're seeing a spirit. And you want to be in that forever. So when a person say one day, they're thinking of things that can last forever. They're not thinking of things they can have quickly. Think of like, really think about that. When, when, when you Think of all the shit that you said you want to do one day. Was it some petty shit? Was it some shit that you, that you may get now and can lose to tomorrow like subconsciously you can't even do that subconsciously you can't even be like man i want to uh i want to snicker one day man i want them jordans one day like subconsciously you can't even do that like it when you say one day it has to be a, a long droughted out goal that can last forever so we know this day we know about this day because you a person who not high in consciousness, but you're still able to say that. So somewhere inside you, metaphysically, you are aware of the truth of the day. But due to the programs and stuff, and you would you would analyze it and explain it to a person like, man, I'm just talking about this is a goal that I want to achieve, achieve, and, uh, and I'm working on there to get there. See that you brought it back to reality now, but. For you to say that in the first place, you are aware of it. And if you're a person who high in cons consciousness, you can actually understand, like me, that that is a realm of reality of the real day. So we know in the Genesis Bible that that day and the day that, and the days that was created afterwards is separate. Now here I'm about to really fuck y'all head up. I'm about to really fuck y'all head up right now. You know what I'm saying? Because look, when when you gotta when you gotta do something right now. When you got to do something right now, it can't wait. When, when you want that little petty goal or that petty goal or you got some type of responsibility or you got something you got to do right now, you got to do it right now. And somebody asked you the date today. What do you got to say? What, you can't use no other word, but what you got to say? Oh, shit, man. I got to do that shit today. Goddamn flights. Hey! Tell me I'm lying. And if I'm lying, tell me why is that? When you got to do something right now, you got to do something on today's date. What's today's date? When, when, when somebody asks you, today is 9-7-2016. When somebody asks you what's today's date, the only way, the only word you can use is to describe it is to say, yeah, that's today's date. Now, when you're a person who high in consciousness and you understand language from what it is and from what it really is, like you use that goddamn word every day. But when you me and you really on this earth and you really understand things for what they are and you understand the language for what they is, do that really make fucking sense? Something I got to do right now, today. Nigga ask me, nigga be like, damn, what you so much in a rush for? What you got to do today? Then they fuck your head up. By spelling it T-O-D-A-Y. But like I said, if you understand shit the way I understand it, you understand language is just words and sigils and spellings, spells put out together. But the 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 actual
natural, I'm an energist. So I only believe in energy, frequency, and vibrations. So if that motherfucker sound like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck. If it walk like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck. Regardless of what le letters you put in that motherfucker to spell it the other way. If it sound like a bitch, it's a motherfucking bitch. Tell me I'm motherfucking lying. So if it sound like motherfucking two, it's a motherfucking two. When we stepped out, when we stepped out on this motherfucking, when it was the first motherfuckers on this earth, right? And it was two motherfucking trees, right? Two trees. And the first human calculated his mind and said, okay, there's of something and there's of something. Which means there's a duality. So that's something that motherfucker didn't create. That's something that that human had to analyze that that was something that was already here. But he had to analyze it. So for something for like that to be already here, it had to been analyzed to be here. So whatever put the two trees here and made something can be one and two of something, it was analyzed. So it was a brain. It was a, it was a being. You can't say it ain't no fucking God for all you atheists out there. You know what I'm saying? I might not agree with the, with religion, but I don't I don't agree with atheists either. See, I'm different. I'm not you can't put me in no motherfucking box. I don't agree with you motherfucking atheists either. You know what I'm saying? Theists, ap apologetics, all y'all motherfuckers is wrong. <laughs> and I'm wrong just by saying y'all wrong. Because y'all pointing to the right shit. But it's not, see, y'all problem is, it's not what you're seeing. It's how you're seeing it. And at the end of the day, all y'all all is being tied to something. And you fall short just by being tied to something. It's it's not about an argument about what you're being, what you tied to, and what's your authority better than this person's authority and what they're tied to, and and since your authority and what you're tied to is better explanation wise and and better and better history wise and and better and more people into it wise, then you think you some kind of uh you think you're um, intellectually better, but I'm trying to tell you just by being tied to something you're still wrong. See, I'm above and beyond. Archangel Uriel, you have to understand. Now, when we, like, back to the day. When you want to do something right now, you got to do it today. When you, when the, the time you're living on is seconds. So, when we say the second coming, it's, it's way deeper than what you think, than what you feel, than what you see. It's embedded in you. Like I said, if something didn't exist, you wouldn't even be able to think about it. Like when they say a square circle or a human can fly, it exists because you wouldn't be able to think about it if it didn't. Your thoughts exist. Just because I can't take your thoughts and weigh them somewhere, they still exist. That's why anytime, anytime somebody want to tell you ain't no such thing as spirits, ain't no such thing as, uh, ain't no such things as a, a God that, that can't show itself in, in, physical, in physical form, all you got to do is tell a motherfucker this. Okay, well, I don't know what the fuck you thinking. Unless you show me what you thinking. Unless you tell me what you thinking. But I don't know what you thinking. But you thinking something, ain't you? Yo, so that means your thoughts is real. Then as soon as a nigga start to say, oh yeah, my thoughts ain't, they is real, but they ain't real. As soon as, soon as he start talking all that stupid shit, you want it. Don't even continue to argue it. Because he's just going to need validation that he can talk louder than you or something like that after that. But see, if you don't even give him that string, all he can do is, Put this facade up like he's still gonna believe what he believe, but I guarantee you, nigga, nine times out of ten, he gonna go home thinking ten times harder than you gonna go home thinking, because he know you gonna fuck his head up, and he gonna he gonna know he put a contradiction out there and put something out there that he didn't fully have a full awareness of. You 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 can tell somebody one sentence through their whole paragraph that'll fuck somebody up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, back on this day thing, you know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. We living on seconds and your 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 day, your day today is is today. It's the second day. So you not you not even on the first day. So this is why humans can't understand what came first, the chicken or the egg. Or this this is why we can't because humans came into existence on the second. They didn't come in on the first. And before you uh, before you can understand anything else, you have to understand that. Understand you came second. Then once we can build on that, now we can start understanding why we didn't come first. See, it's not what we 
trying to understand is how we understanding it. If y'all niggas want to know who God is, y'all niggas want to know science, y'all want to know relativity, education, anything in the world is out here for us to know. You just got to watch programs being thrown upon you from other people who have different perceptions of it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's what it comes to. And I, this is the first video right here, man. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a weekly because before I go in, I feel like I got to put some energy out. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to run down all Zodiacs for today's weekly um, weekly reading. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, where the planetary alignment's at right now. Goddamn. <laughs> Flame boss, bitch, there, because I can talk forever. I got to stop this video so I can get to those. You know what I'm saying? So, the little pilot, man, you know, I'm in this motherfucking, man. I'm trying to build my energy up, even though I'm sick as a motherfucker right now. But I ain't going to let no sickness, I ain't going to let nobody see me sweat. Because right now I'm already fire. It's already hot. And that motherfucker, I'm already sweating spiritually. So right now, you know, so I need to draw off in reality. <laughs> Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. Goddamn, air. Motherfucker, goddamn. 